When I awoke from my dreamless sleep, I was just in time to witness the end of the world. I could help you, if that's what you want. Damn it! What kind of answer is that? <laughs> uh-uh. Now that isn't going to work. <laughs> Lumina! Now that's not right. You're not supposed to throw your life away! <laughs> I swear that kid is a demon. Angels of death and demons? You're attracting the wrong crowd, Snow. No one is gonna stop me. You hear? Not you, definitely not her. If I have to fight the savior, then I will.
The centuries have changed us, Snow and me. Once we fought desperately together against our fates. Now he's patron of a never-ending revel, presiding over a banquet at the end of the world. And I've become the savior. I'm a servant of God, sent to a world being consumed by chaos. Tell me, Snow. Has ever a day passed when you haven't thought about Sarah? The girl you loved? My younger sister? How long has she been gone now? She brought us together and made us allies and friends. I can't give her back to you, but I can save your soul and free you from your long torment. It'll be my first act as savior. Mr. Hope has time. Any ideas? What do I do next? Blake, come on. Just call me Hope, okay? Right now, your number one priority is snow. Don't let him get away. A 
glimmer of light appears at last. Is the savior a sign of coming destruction or a promise of hope? I would like to bet on hope. If you believe you are the true savior, you'll need to be carefully prepared for the battles that await you on your journey. To anyway, where's he going? I'm getting powerful chaos creation inside the palace. thinking running straight into the chaos is he going there to try to stop it or is it to use it against us somehow you'll have to ask him yourself now hurry how high is he He liked to look after people, but lording it over an entire city? Well, it wasn't his choice. You won't steal our future. Although I'm not so sure he actually rules anything anymore. He doesn't do much these days except preside over the nightly revelry. Lord of the Feast Hall. Doesn't look like he's enjoying it much, though. When I looked into his eyes, I didn't see much of the old snow. What the? Who are you? 
are you? And what are you doing here? If you're playing around in the middle of this chaos, I'm guessing you're not human. <laughs> You can see when you're inside this stuff? Hmm. Then you can't be one of God's regular lackeys, can you? Listen, Hope, I need more info. Can you analyze this chaos matter for me? I've been trying to do just that, but it's no good. None of my instruments will tell me anything. It's just too hard to see. What do you mean? I'm not sure. The sensors know it's there, all right. But when they actually look into it, they can't pick up anything at all. Sometimes it's so thick, my monitors go completely blank. It's locked. Can I force it? That might be beyond even you. Hold on a second. I'll see what I can do from here. <gasps> hmm. There's a lot of chaos building up back there. Yes, indeed. And Snow's inside, or whatever's left of him. Well, he has been living without hope for centuries. Now the world's about to end. He might have lost his mind entirely. If it were anyone else, I'd say that was a given. Do you think it could have gotten to him, though? Broken even his spirit? I hope not, but... After coming all this way? I'm his last chance, damn it. I know what he's going through. The pain of losing Sarah. That's true. If there's anything left of Snow, as the savior, you're the only one who can rescue him. That's why you have to protect yourself. If you're killed, it really will mean the end of the world. And then who can you save? All right, fine. Take me back to the Ark. Hold on. So she'll understand his pain? She thinks she's going to save his soul? But you listen to this nonsense? Ugh, God turns her into the savior and it all goes straight to her head.
Once upon a time, I committed a terrible sin. It happened long ago, in a past that I cannot change. I was fighting a war that never ended. I thought I was saving the world, and I needed help. So I turned to Sarah, the only family I had. She was my younger sister. I sent her to her death. I knew what I did could not be forgiven, but I prayed that someday it could be undone. Dreaming of the day I might bring her back, I fell into a long sleep. It was a sleep as dark as death. The centuries passed, and each one seemed like an eternity until... One day, the light touched me. I knew what it was. It was God himself, speaking to me. All-powerful, all-knowing, ruler of the world and sky above, Bonavelza. The light was his voice, and I felt warmth on my skin as it spoke. He told me what I had to do. I would be his servant, and if I succeeded in doing his bidding, my reward would be a miracle. He said she would live again. My sister, Sarah, and I'd have her back at last. And so I was chosen by God to rescue lost souls and guide them past the end of this world and into the next. I became the savior. Light, there's something I want to tell you. Hello, Lightning. Welcome home. Hope S time. Once long ago, we fought side by side, bound by a common destiny. He was just a boy then, kicked around by fate, scared and angry. But we became friends, and then he grew up. He was going to be humanity's great leader, the one who'd lead us all to a brighter future. But it didn't work out the way any of us expected. A lot of things changed during my long sleep. When I woke, the hope who I'd seen become a man was a boy again. He was up here, in lonely command of the Ark. And this was where he told me about God's plans for the two of us, and the world. Bunavelza, God of Light, has made a decision. The gates are open and chaos has flooded through, consuming the world and everything in it. Not even God can stop it, and he isn't going to try. Instead, he's going to build a brand new world. But he needs people to live in it. What would be the point of a world without souls? That's where you come in, Light. You're the last piece in the puzzle. You're the savior. It's a simple role. You have to rescue as many people as you can from this world and lead them to the new one. It's an incredible opportunity. You can bring salvation to hundreds, maybe thousands. In return, you'll get your chance to bring Sarah back. A deal, huh? I scratch God's back and he gives me what I want. My sister. He's giving you a chance, no guarantees. I know it isn't right, using your sister, but... It doesn't matter. Huh? God is using my dead sister as a bargaining chip. Something like that should infuriate me to no end. But, for whatever reason, I don't feel angry. It's like there's a hole where she used to be. I think I know what you mean. I'm the same way. It all happened such a long time ago. 
I remember it clearly, but the feelings, they're gone. Maybe that's how God wants it. Maybe emotions and his servants just distract us from what we're supposed to do. So he got rid of them for us. Maybe he did. And maybe returning me to childhood was part of his plan too. But we can't expect to understand everything he does. Of course I had to accept God's deal. What choice did I have? It was my fault that Sarah died. If the only way I could save her was by doing God's will, so be it. With Hope Estime to guide me, I began my holy mission. Liberating the souls of the living from a dying world, and ushering them into a new one. The Savior. Servant of mighty Benevelza himself. Light? Light, what's the matter? What is it? Are you alright? <sighs> I'm fine, just reminiscing. Five hundred years ago, chaos was unleashed, and our world began to be consumed. Five short centuries. That's what it took to destroy all of creation. Now there's barely anything left at all. And when the Savior has used all her light, the bells will toll and the world will end. Is that what you told me? Yes. But when that time comes, Benevelza will finally awaken, and he'll bend his great will to create a new world. Right. And in the meantime, I've got some souls to save. Yes, as many as you can. Remember, every soul you leave behind will be lost for all eternity. As long as you're here, you're safe. When you're in the Ark, time ceases to... He can stop the flow of time. Yes, but the problem is... It doesn't have... It should, but the world has been weakening rapidly. Your problem is, if the world ends too soon, you won't have enough time to save all the souls you can. Now listen carefully, Light. As the Savior, you have a special life force. I call it Aradia. It's the power and much more. If you offer your life force, this Aradia, you can give energy to the world and delay the- I can delay the destruction when God wakes after the 13th day, but what does it matter how many days are left? Because if you- and the world ends before the 13th day, then what will happen to your bargain? Will he still deliver on- Right, the bargain. In other words, if I don't keep- And not just Sarah, either. So do you see, Light? Aradia is the key, and the way you do that. So that's what I've got to do. Yes, exactly. Here at the end of the world, there are many people like him caught in the grip. If you reach out and help, then their souls will be released. They'll be free to be re- So that's- Rescue as many souls as I can before the world ends and takes you- Oh, Light, I almost forgot. I prepared some things for you. Gifts. Feel free to open all the containers you see here.
Welcome, valued customer. The destruction began. Most of the world was lost immediately under the ocean. The survivors call their island of refuge. The chaos brought. But if that was a gift, it was a poison. But although we were ageless, we were not immune to it. And so humanity began a new chapter of its history, the population slowly shrinking. Eventually, new creeds took hold and new legends created. One of these told of the savior, humanity's last year. That is the Book of Conquests. It draws on your memories to recreate foes that you have... No more lectures today. You can head for them. Just remember, though, you have to... You're giving the same... There is a good reason. We can use the warp machine to send you back. By using the warp device, I can teleport you back down to the surface. I'm worried about Snow. I should go to his palace. You could. But I suggest you visit another city instead. You want me to abandon snow? Down on the surface, time is stopped for everyone. The palace will still be on high alert. It would be next to impossible to get anywhere close to snow. You're saying I should let things cool down first. I'm going to send you to Luxarian. It's the cap. I'll place you inside an inn. When the train stops at the station, Something has happened in front of the... All right. You're surprisingly calm for someone who's about to venture into un... Brave. I don't feel brave. That's good.
Luxarian, a bustling metropolis, the divine city of light and the holy sea of salvation. It's the last bastion of peace and order in a dying world. Most of the people who live here worship the almighty Benevelza. The city is governed in his name by a powerful religious sect known as the Order of Salvation. God's followers believe in ultimate redemption, and their faith helps keep the fires of hope burning. But even in this pious city, a darkness lurks untouched by divine light. A heresy that rejects the teachings of Supreme Benevelza. Another girl. How awful. I bet it's the heretics doing. The Divine City doesn't look so holy now. This was no accident. The girl was left here intentionally. <gasps> Light! There's no need. Just a dummy. Hope, did you see who dropped it? They must still be close. My sensors didn't pick up anything at all. I'm running a search of the city's video database, but I'm coming up blank so far. Doesn't matter. I'll just find out myself. Luxarian. The Divine City of Light. Is that what they call it? Trouble is, the brightest lights cast the darkest shadows. Let's see if we can find out anything from the crime scene. 